welcome to my channel. This is a really quick video because this layout um, was made like super fast and I sped it up times two and it's still less than five minutes long. So I apologize for that. Um, I hope you enjoy the video nonetheless. And um, yeah, and don't worry because there are lots of videos coming your way soon. I In April, I start my spring blitz, which is 30 days of videos. So that starts April 12th and goes till May 11th, which is, um, which is the three year anniversary of being on YouTube, which is very exciting. Um, okay. So I am using a lot of papers from the cut apart from my sunny days collection. Also, I should mention I'm using my wild hair kits. I don't think I mentioned that yet. So I'm using my wild hair kit. It came with a lot of really cute things. I was getting to the end of my kit at this point. Um, and I should have a lot of process videos up for different um, projects I've made with this kit. And um, and there'll be a video at the end of the month showing all of the projects I made with the kit video or not. So anyway, these are um, some cut-aparts from the Sunny Days cut-apart sheet that I got in my kit. And I'm just going to glue it on to um, the layers and, uh, make it look cute and, um, full and I'm going to get my, um, distress tool to distress all the edges. I've forgotten to do that originally. So I'm just going to do that. It's a really quick and easy way to give texture and layers and, and stuff to your layout. And that doily is just from my stash and then I kind of have to take it apart a little bit to get the edges of the other pieces of paper, but I think it works out just fine. And I love the look of it, so it was definitely worth it to kind of take it apart a little bit and mess with it a bit. But uh, yeah, I think it looks cute. <coughs> I also found this other piece of paper that I will use that you can see there. It says like, it has like a list of different um, like beach things like a little checklist kind of thing that I'm going to use beside the photo and I think that looks pretty cute. Um, I'm going to put this photo up on chipboard so this is just chipboard from like like the the negative parts from old chipboard. I just reuse it um, so that it's not going to waste because I might as well right and um, yeah so I'm going to glue or adhere that down and then distress the edge of this piece of paper that I was talking about and to me it's okay if it gets a little crumpled a bit because that's kind of the look I'm going for and yeah so I'm just seeing what other pieces might look good and what other colors I might want to add in and kind of what direction I want to go in this layout and I wasn't really sure exactly where I wanted to position the picture but I figured it's time to pick a title so I forget the title that I pick. Let's see. I'm too fussy about the um, placement. And I do glue it down, but I think I end up moving it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. But it all works out fine in the end, of course, like it always does. So if you want to know more information about the wild hair kits, I'll put the link down below. So you fill out a style profile based on the products you like and the projects you're working on, and they will hand curate a kit to exactly what you want. It's so cool. I love it. I love being a part of the team. It's such a great company to be a part of. And um, yeah, so I would highly recommend it. Um, yeah, so here's where I changed the positioning a little bit because I, I needed it to be up a little bit more because it was just like way too heavy on the bottom. Um, so anyway, yeah, if you want to check out the Wild Hair Kit, I'll put the link down below. I'll also put the link for my unboxing video so you can see what products I'm working with and what kind of products that you could get in your kit. And it's so fun because they get all the new products too, so you will be able to... Um, get things that maybe you had a hard time finding in stores online, you can get it in your kit. So that's always really fun. I love when that happens. Um, so you can request different items in your kit that you are looking for. So we're coming to near the end of the video. Just add a few more chipboard pieces to finish it all off. And I think it looks so cute. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I believe I do add black paint splatters. And here is here are the still photos. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know what you think. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.